Proton VPN has both free and premium plans. And this is the video covering how to use both versions of this program. So let's begin. If you don't have an account, sign up for a free account now. Great, here we have it. I'll skip this guide. This is how it looks. As we're using the free plan, we don't have many options. The server list is here, but it says plus on each as all those are plus servers. It also has secure core, net shield and kill switch that will cover in the plus section. Click quick connect to connect to the fastest server. However, most free servers are slow as many people are using them at a given time. When you are connected, your IP address changes to the connected server one. The map will show the location and you can go to an IP check website to verify your IP address and location. In the top left is the information and the load on the server. If the server is slow, the change server button will connect to a different server. Now it's connected to a US server. The free servers don't support many things, so only browsing is recommended. Due to the load on the server and how far away it is, the speed is also compromised. We'll talk about the premium servers and their features now. In the plus plan, the interface is the same, but all the options are unlocked. We can select a country from the map or scroll here to pick. Let's connect to Brazil. Click the button to find the fastest server. Each country has an arrow and we get to see the cities and the load on each server. I can just pick any and connect to it. Click this info to see what features are supported by the servers in that country. I can't talk much about them here but you can google the term to see what they do. The premium servers are usually faster than free ones so you won't find much of the difference in speed as well. It has this secure core system that connects to a different city first and then to the selected city. This increases the security and makes it extremely difficult to track your location. However, it slows down the speed a lot. When it's enabled, you will only see the secure core countries and servers. The net shield will protect against malware and also if you want to disable ads, you can do so here. The other feature is kill switch that will disable your internet when for any reason the VPN connection drops. This way you will still be protected if a VPN stops working. Let's explore profiles. In Proton VPN, you can create a profile and connect to the server quickly. In a profile, we can adjust the protocol, type of server, location, tour and more. Then you save this profile and click on it to connect to your desired location and server type. Let's quickly cover the settings. Click the menu button and then settings to explore its options. If you don't want the app to start on Windows boot up, uncheck this. Also, you can adjust the protocol here if you want a specific one. Here are some advanced settings that are enabled by default. Overall, Proton VPN is a great program with privacy in mind. I've been using it for years and will continue using it. Anyway, this is it. Thanks for watching. If any questions, put them below and take care.